Hi guys and girls and welcome back to another video. With the new release of Blender 2.8, hopefully Blender is going to have a bunch of new users. That's why today I'm going to show you most useful or most basic shortcuts that you need to work in Blender. A lot of people say that 3D modeling and sculpting and so on is very hard, but I, I promise once you get the hotkeys down and they kind of enter your muscle memory, it's same as Photoshop. You're just going to do stuff that you want to do. Just take a piece of paper and write all of this down and then when, when you're modeling or something just look at the paper, see what you need and use it. And as time goes on uh, you just won't need the paper anymore. First shortcut that we got is G. What you can do with the G is move the location of the object. So you can see this cube, I press G and I just move it. Now there's multiple combinations with every new shortcut so you can go GX to move only on the X axis like this GY to move on the Y axis and GZ to move on the Z axis the second shortcut is S S is used for scaling like this and then again you can use SX to scale on the X axis SY to scale on the Y axis and SZ to scale on the Z axis the third shortcut is R and you guessed it it's for rotating you can just rotate freely like this, but what I always do is use Rx to rotate on the x-axis, Ry to rotate on the y-axis, and Rz to rotate on the z-axis. Just these three should allow you to create some pretty good models. Now that I taught you the most basic three like hotkeys, I also want to show you that, for example, if you take scaling, you can use Sx to scale on the x-axis and Sy to scale on the y-axis. But also what you can do is press S, Shift, Z to scale on both of them at the same time. So basically you go S to scale, Shift, and then press the axis you don't want to scale on. So Z, and it will scale on the X and Y only. If I go S, Shift, X, it will scale on Y and Z only. If I press S, Shift, Y, it will scale on the Z and the X axis only. So we got G for moving the location. We got R for rotating and S for scaling. And then you can do combinations with X, Y, and Z and shift X, Y, and Z to move, rotate, or scale the object more precisely. Let's move on to something else that you'll need. In Blender, you can select vertices. You can select edges like this. And you can select faces like this. You can change that up here. Or you can use 1, 2, and 3 on your keyboard. 1 will get you to vertex select, 2 edge select, and 3 face select. Thanks to this guy for telling me that in the comments because I'm stupid and I didn't know that. If you just right click a vertice like this, you can see that you can select more of them at once. But what you can do is right click and then use shift right click to select more of them. Now I can select 4 of these. You can do the same thing with the edges, so right click and then shift right click. If you want to clear it, just right click something else and it will clear. And for the faces, you can select more of them with shift right click. So just to recap this part, you can use 1, 2, 3 to change different selections mode. Right click or left click to select only one vertice, face or edge. And then shift right click to select more of them. Once you can select a face like this, you might want to extrude from it. So you can use E for that. Press E. Extrude up. It will automatically set you to extrude on one of the axes, but uh, you can change that by pressing Y, for example, then it extrudes on the Y axis, or X to extrude on the X axis, or just Z to extrude up and down. Of course, if you want to un undo something, is Control Z. And another cool shortcut is Control R, it uh, adds loop cuts. So you can just add one like this, press Control R, find where you want it and then just left click and then you can move it and if you want it on the in the middle then just right click and it will center it and now this means there is more vertices faces and edges here interesting thing with these loop cuts you can press ctrl r and then when you find the place where you want it use your mouse wheel to change the amount of loop cuts that you will add so you can add a lot of them like this or you can just add two for example just to recap you can use e to extrude and then change the axes like this. You can use Ctrl Z to go back or undo. And you can use Ctrl R and mouse wheel to add loop cuts. And now using all these you should be able to create some really cool objects. 
or models. And if you watch any of my Blender tutorials, most likely these will be the shortcuts that you will need. So go check out my other videos. And that's it for today. Hopefully you enjoyed, hopefully this helped you. If it did, share this with your new friends in Blender. Because it might help them. Go check out the description for social media and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye bye.